At Southwest Shooting Authority, we spend a lot of time dispelling myths, and, and uh, sometimes we have the opportunity to do things that not everybody gets to do. So we like to, uh, we like to play with things once in a while. So last, we had an opportunity to, uh, we got a piece of damaged, what they call bulletproof glass from a store that was vandalized, and a and, um, guy donated it to us to play with, so we thought we'd try it. As you can see, this is three-quarter inch Lexan, is what they call it. Lexan is sold as one of the, I think, polycarbonate um, materials that they use for bullet resistance glass, bullet resistant glass. As you can see, we've got, this is laminated, we have a large portion in the middle, I, I don't know if this is the same material, but we have an uh, eighth inch on each side, and um, the remainder in the middle there. So we tried several different calibers to see what it, uh, what it would do. We started out with the 22 Magnum, we had a 34 grain bullet, and a 40 grain. The 22 Magnum, just about... Actually, this one did go all the way through. Um, this one, the 40 grain, mostly went through. The 32 grain just about broke out the other side. Not too bullet resistant when it'll stop a 22 mag. The next one we did was the 9 millimeter. The 9 millimeter. Now we fired this from about um, about eight feet away, 10 feet away. We fired it from behind a uh, steel. Um, barricade because we didn't know either, you know, that, that it wouldn't bounce or, or whatever. So we, it's the first time I ever shot bulletproof glass. So, uh, the nine millimeter, you see it hit, slid over this way. This is a nine millimeter full metal jacket. Uh, it bulged just ever so slightly on the back side. There's no, uh, no, no exit. Nothing broke or, or damaged on the back. The 40 Smith and Wesson. Now this was Magtex Guardian Gold. It's 180 grain. Uh, premium type defensive hollow point. It hit pretty hard, cracked a little bit on the back, but you can't really feel anything. But I would expect that out of a hollow point. You can tell that it broke the split, the lamination is damaged this big around here. And the bullet hit a little bit of an angle and hit and slid. So you can see the bullet here, the entrance hole here. Same with the 9mm, just not so much. 40 caliber, uh, 40 Smith & Wesson full metal jacket, same thing, hit, moved over a little bit. And there is a little bit of a crack on the back. Got a little bulge here. It uh, needed a little more horsepower. It probably would have come out of there. On down here, this was a 125 grain uh, full metal jacket. I mean, I'm sorry, 125 grain hollow point out of a 357 Magnum uh, at 1,600 feet per second. This is measured. We've measured. We've chronographed it. We know that's what it's doing. It zipped right through. Went through both sides, didn't even slow down. It busted that out and uh, slung this out of the way. The bullet went right through. The 10 millimeter with a full metal jacket, hand load at 1,300 feet a second. Hit. You can see the lamination damage this far around here. The bullet fragmented, opened up this much, and a little bit of a crack on the back side. You know, busted through here just a little bit. It's damaged. You can feel it, but it didn't come through. I can feel cracks all around here. I'm going to show you this one while we have it turned around. This was the 10 millimeter 155 grain XTP. It didn't. Uh, pieces of it came out. Most of it, it busted a piece of glass off here. The lamination is not broken up as far around. But on this side, it fragmented pretty bad. You can see the bullet goes all the way over to here. Most of it is still in here, although a few pieces came out. 7.62 by 39, zipped right through, didn't even uh, bust the glass out in the back and, and kept going. Same with the, uh, seven, this is a hollow point. 7.62 by 39, full metal jacket, same story. The 223, same thing, zipped right through. You can tell on this side, though, at uh, where the 7.62 by 39 came out, it cleanly removed those two pieces of uh, lamination, the plastic there, the, the Lexan. And this one, by the time it got through there, it was damaged bad enough that it uh, a little sloppier coming out. But it did 100% exit. Number eight, birdshot out of a shotgun. I can tell you from personal experience, 
You don't want to be 10 feet away and shoot bulletproof glass with a shotgun. Uh, we were protected. I still had some pieces come back, hit me in the hand. I was wearing gloves because of this. And um, at close range, it would come back, possibly uh, put out an eye or something. And 12 gauge slug, no problem at all. Didn't slow down. Laminations busted up this big. And uh, no, uh, no resistance at all to that. The 45 ACP with a full metal jacket, hit and stuck. There's no, not a trace of anything on the back. Perfectly undamaged, didn't hurt a thing. And the bullet just stuck right there. 45 ACP, this was a 230 grain Federal Hydra shock. Same distance, same gun, same everything. This bullet, we found this. This is the bullet that hit here. It hit and bounced off 18 feet from here. Uh, is where we found it. No damage in the back. This crack here is from the 12 gauge. Uh, no, no indication of any damage whatsoever back here. Um, this one here, we, we, we goofed up. It was kind of it was getting dark and we forgot what we were doing, didn't pay attention. And this is one's on the wrong side. This is double lock buckshot out of a 12 gauge. The lamination is damaged about an 8, 10 inch circle here. You can see where it's, where, it's, where it's separated. None of the buckshot came through, but it did hit hard enough. It bounced it and knocked the whole piece of glass down. On the back side, quite a bit of damage here. Nothing came through, but it's cracked all around here. The um, 44 Magnum, 230 grain soft point. There's a piece of the actually there's a piece of the jacket right there. Didn't quite. Uh, it didn't go through um, undamaged. And the 240 grain. This was a 200 grain soft point. 240 grain CCI gold dot. Zipped right through there. No problem at all. Busted out a chunk of the glass. There's the plastic lamination there. The 200, 200 grain soft point, a lot more damage, opened up the glass pretty good. We have, now this one was what was surprising, that to the 357 Magnum out of the same gun, 6 inch uh, GP100, hit and bounced off. It did do some damage on this side, busted a piece of the, lamp, the glass out, but on the back, a little bit of a bulge. Not much. Quite a bit of difference in the uh, all in the velocity between the 158 and the 125 grain. Uh, these two, 223, 7.62 to 39, again, because we shot those into a paper target after they left to see what they would do. The 7.62 to 39 had started to yaw a little bit and hit this way, as they call it, as they say, keyhole. The, the 223 had pretty much fragmented and it did, there was a big piece of it that went through the target, but it was, uh, for all practical purposes, it was toast. And this here was what got us a piece of glass to start with. Somebody tried to get into this check caching place and uh, hit that with a rock and that's how we wound up with the, the sample to begin with. So don't get too comfortable behind bullet resistant glass. You're a, a uh, a clerk or something, be sure that you take some other precautions if you're about to be robbed. Uh, we understand that uh, the bad guys can see this video and, and see what's going on, but um, I think it's more important that the good guys know not to get too comfortable with their, uh, with their job, you know, behind the, the bullet resistant glass. So both parties are going to know, but uh, there, you go, there you have it. So until we come up with something else to play with, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.